Good afternoon, Don Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a card for you from I'm going to be using a neat and tangled stamp set stamp set called Lovely Lotus. Okay, and I did several cards with this stamp set. I actually posted a picture on Instagram um, of the cards. I did like seven. But I'm going to show one here. Um, coloring a flower, one flower here. And then I'm going to show um, assembling one card, my um, husband's Valentine card to be precise. This is how old this video is. <laughs> I know, I've had it forever. Waiting in the camera for me to get off my butt and edit it. But here I am. So I'm winging this voice over as well. So if I don't sound normal, it's because I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and color these in and um, with lotuses you start at well the tips are dark at least the pictures I looked at the tips were dark pink and they go down to lighter colors so that's what I did I started at the tip usually you start when you do um, flowers most people do not always but start at the base of the petal and bring the color out and go light to the tip but this time I went in the opposite direction so I started with RV09 at the tip and I'm just using feathering strokes, you know, the flick stroke. And from RV09, I went to R85. Um, that's the pinks of my choice. Um, R85, R83, and R81, that blend. I also, like I said, I put in the, um, so now when I do pinks, I put in the RV09 because I like the way that blends with those, those particular pinks. You get to work it a little bit. But um, I use I also use um, RV34, yes, RV34 as well with that group. So um, during my hiatus from YouTube, I spent a little time working with my Copic. So I'm not saying I've gotten any better with it, but I think I'm doing a little bit better. And um, I spent some time figuring out what my favorite blending groups were you know I looked up some people's blending groups online went to Pinterest um, gathered all the info I mean I had some you know basic groups but it seemed to me whenever I sat down I would just kind of grab grab um, my Copics you know one at a time or whatever I wouldn't have a physical I mean a mental idea of what my specific color would be that I'd want that would be in a blending group so now I actually made a chart I actually stamped an image and colored the image in with my blending group and uh, like I said I got all the info off of Pinterest and various people Sandy Alnock um, uh, what's her name Yana Smekula also has a blending group um, some Kelly Latavola groups it's different people even Nicole's four I, I um, I have some of her blending groups too. So I, um, yeah, I made a little booklet with um, a stamped image and I colored it in and I wrote down the blending groups. So that way I know instead of just willy nilly picking a color, I choose out of that particular group. So I'm just finishing up now. I did that one flower for you. Um, I did that one whole. I'm showing that whole sheet of pink because I use that on actually I only use one flower but I'm using this love dye and I got this love set and I believe the dye with it and I think it was in the Samsa stamp last year's Valentine card kit I think because I went to link it up in the description and they know they don't have it so I, I think I got it from that kit because I don't remember specifically buying it so anyway I did link a um, an, a different love dye from Neat and Tangled and it also has a shadow um, I don't use the shadow in this particular card but it does have it so I'm, I'm actually taking a panel here um, I'm making a 4x4 four four card and I'm taking the panel stamping with the um, greenie on the inside and um, I'm going to put that inside of my card I'm stamping some hearts out now with my Catherine Pula ink uh, rose petal I've been decorating the inside of my cards as you saw from my previous video 
So I'm just throwing a couple of hearts on here. Like I said, it was my husband's Valentine card. This piece of paper came from a Recollections card kit. Sorry, back up. A Recollections paper pack um, that I got from Michael's um, for Valentine's Day. And I just liked it because it was scripty. I like scripty behind flowers for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. And I'm going to use that as my background. And then I cut a heart with my MFT heart dies out of another another white panel. These panels came from Gina K Design. She sells little 4x4 four four panels. 4x4 four four and 3x4 three four or 3x3. Three three. I don't know. But I bought a, a pack of them one, day, one time back when I had got my um, wreath builder um, stamp set. And they'd just been sitting there, so I used them. But I'm going to use some foam tape and use some dimension on my card. And I'm going to put that down. Oh, look at my grays. <laughs> I changed the place where my camera is, too. So it's a little on the higher side, I believe. I think it's already showing in this video. I, um,. I have like a shelf above, two, like a, a big square shelf like above my desk and I use this arm thing that attaches to it and I moved it up one level, one shelf level. So it's about a, f a ruler, 12 inches above where it used to be. So I'm trying that out to see how, um, because before it would be like literally right in my face. <laughs> But now I'm probably going to have my head in the way all the time because, you know, I can't see worth being, so I have to stick my face right in my project half the time. But, um, so I'm putting the, I put the flower in the little point of the heart. Now my love. And that pretty much covers it. Now I don't show on, um, the video, but I do put some Nouveau. I, I don't think I did. I shut it off and then I decided, oh yeah, some Nouveau, because, you know, God forbid I color a flower in and not throw some Nouveau on it. I'm trying to refrain lately because I know I overdo it. <laughs> so, um, but I did put some Nouveau a after I shut the camera off. And I also put some um, little pink jewels from um, Pretty Pink Posh. I will have all my products listed in the description below. Oh, I do show the Nouveau. Okay. There you go. See, I told you I used my Nouveau. I knew it. Because <laughs> I always do. I think I put it on the love, too. Yes, I did. There it is. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing that lately, too. But um, that pretty much covers that card up. So, here's the close-up view of the card. I'm going to show you some close-up pictures of the other cards that I did when I was making this. I... I think during the 30 day coloring challenge I colored up a bunch of neat and tangled um, the lovely lotus stamps that I colored a bunch of them up and um, I mean when I say a bunch I mean a bunch here's another card I must have colored there's like five flowers five flowers yeah I think three or f four to five flowers and two or three leaves in the stamp set and I colored it up three different times, three different ways. You know, like I did the pinks, as you see here. I did blues, and I did oranges, which you see here. And the oranges were basically um, YR18, YR68, YR09, and YR07, I believe. The greens are, hmm, what are the greens? My green blend is YG17, YG23, and YG05, I think. <clears throat> See, I used a few pieces of paper from that pack. And there's the leaves that come with it. And, you know, it's like, which way do you arrange it? It's kind of hard to tell. That sentiment came from a um, MFT sentiment st stamp set. I'll also link that in the description below. And the card stocks all came from Gina K Designs. So, yeah, I got a, uh, another couple of cards here. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, why not go ahead and subscribe? Um, 
I'm going to try to become more consistent with my videos. Uh, so hopefully that will happen. Um, what else? Hmm. I guess that's it. I don't have any other announcements to make. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to do this whole voiceover without my dog barking once, but it's not over yet. I have two more pictures here. See, I used a pretty pink posh um, dye for Get Well Soon. And I, of course, I doubled them up and tripled them up. So they stacked up and um, was more dimensional. And I used the Nouveau on all of them. I used the, um, these midnight blue or their dark blue um, jewels on this one from Pretty Pink Posh as well. And I believe, yeah, this friend dye came from Pretty Pink Posh as well. It is a uh, Hello Friend dye. I just used the friend pot. I actually mailed that off already. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye now.